Good morning, everyone. I'm Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. I too want to say uh, to Eric, thank you for opening up uh, the lines of communication and, and having us come here. Uh, I, I just want to take this moment to offer my condolences and prayers on behalf of 1.4 million Bronxites uh, to the families of police officers Wayne Jing Lu and Rafael Ramos, two heroes who were senselessly assassinated yesterday at the hands of a madman. I know that words alone cannot make these families whole. I know that words cannot bring these two men back to them or us. But I sincerely hope and pray that the families of Officers Lou and Ramos understand that today the people of this city, all of this city, are with them in their time of need. Over the last couple of weeks, ladies and gentlemen, too many people have tried to draw a line in the sand and have demanded that we as New Yorkers pick and stand on either side of that line. Today, we stand together in condemnation of what everyone should and must consider what was a crime of hate here yesterday. Today, ladies and gentlemen, there is no line. We stand together. We have heard over the past several weeks about the importance of peaceful demonstration to the health of a democracy as diverse as ours. With that said, we cannot allow for an atmosphere to be created within this city that allows hateful invective against New York's finest to become the norm. If this level of rhetoric was being aimed at any other community in our city and was followed by acts of violence, we would condemn it as a hate crime. These are hate crimes against the NYPD and all New Yorkers of good faith must be willing to stand up and denounce them as I do here today. And the police department, the NYPD, is much as part of the family as anyone else of this New York family. We cannot see crime at record lows in the Bronx or anywhere else in the city of New York if it were not for the work of the NYPD. We should understand that the overwhelming majority of the 35,000 men and women in uniform are out there protecting us. I know this firsthand because I am a brother of a retired police sergeant. In the Bronx, as the borough president, we have seen record lows, and throughout the city, we have seen record lows in terms of crime. And that is because men and women of uniform are putting themselves on the line every single day. For that, we say thank you. For that, we have to make sure that something like what happened yesterday, we should all take it personal. I mean, during this holiday season, how is it that we tell a 13-year-old boy that instead of opening up gifts, instead of singing carols during this Hanukkah season and Christmas season, that he's not going to see his father come back home or he's not going to see his father ever again because he was doing something as basic as protecting all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter where you stand on a debate over the last couple of weeks, there is no room for opinion. What happened here yesterday is wrong. What happened here yesterday was an assassination to all of us as a society. What happened to here, here yesterday, we should all take offense to it. And anybody, anybody who is approaching a police officer simply because they're a police officer and hitting them or punching them for whatever reason they believe is just in their minds, that to me is a crime of hate on a, on a population in this city and it should not and must not be tolerated. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Borough President uh, Diaz. And I think that the Borough President uh, Diaz really strikes at the heart of this issue.